What's up, Infected? Welcome to the Quarantine. I have another unboxing for you from what I can only imagine is probably Tau Ceti uh, from Kickstarter. So, without further ado, let's just dive into it. Um, the wife is also here, watching. I'm gonna say hello. Hello. Sound like a parrot? She's, she's not real, she's just a pre-programmed uh, voice. So anyways. I think I got the collector's edition of Tau City or something. Bubble wrap. <laughs> uh, after the unboxing. <laughs> Damn it, lady. All right, so, because I should have gotten the um, the one that had the fancy ships. So we got Tau City, they got the shiny words there. And actually, rather than, you can see my light there. So what I'll do is I'll actually just cut the plastic off of this first, or I don't need to cut nothing. Um, I do remember a little bit about this game, whereas you know normally with a Kickstarter, I back it and then I kind of forget about it till it shows up at my door. This one I do remember quite a bit about it. It's kind of like a 4X economic simulator, um, and that's kind of what I remember from it. I don't remember a whole lot from it, but. I remember that. So, you got the reflective uh, lettering up here, which is super sexy. Um, and then there's this. It plays how many players? Five. So one, two, three, four, five. So these just might must be two other boards, but that's fancy. And let's just jump into it. If I can open the box, there we go. All right. So. The Living Starship Expansion. And hopefully, unlike several other Kickstarters that I've been getting, <coughs> Pandemonium, <coughs> Martian, <coughs> the list goes on and on, um, of games that have some of the worst rule books I've ever written. Ever written? Is that a word? Ever read? Um, written is a word, it's just. Just not in the, same, not in the not context. Not what you were yeah. wanting it to mean. So, um,. Yeah, so hopefully that is that this reads a little better. So, and my alarm on my phone is going off. So, uh, that probably means we got to make sure we take out the trash. So, because uh, trash day is tomorrow. So, oh yeah, this uses the weird hexagons. That's right. So hopefully this rule book isn't god awful. I really hope not, because I'm slowly starting to get burnt out on Kickstarters, because more often than not, their rule books are garbage. So, save for unless I get something from like Japan Anime Games, Cool Mini or not, you know, big established companies that know what they're doing. Um, don't know what that is. Galactic Depot. This is probably where the parts that you can buy go. Um, let's see, the Tau City Exchange. So, I don't know what that is. I don't know why I'm saying that. I don't know what any of them are. So, we have, looks like the races. So, we have the Republic of, let's see, can you guys see that? Yeah, so we got the Republic of Treolor, the Dominion of Oyar, Oyar, uh, Imperial, not even a try, Empire, the Xunon Collective, the boring ones and Azarian Emissaries. And it's funny that I say the boring ones, but let's face it, I will probably wind up playing humans because I am boring and usually go for the humans. Also, they look like they're the closest to red, so. But let's, I'll sit back down here, let's check out some of these tile sets. So, I, I don't know, I really like these tiles because you still, they, that means they should lock in together really, really well. Let's pull out one of them. Let's well, let's look at the opposite side first. Ooh, and it looks like it's got a sexy insert too. You can kind of see it below here. But uh, the tile quality, not bad. Definitely seen worse. It's uh, it feels a lot more solid than um, anybody who watched the Pandemonium unboxing. This one feels a lot more solid than those. They're about the same thickness, but they're more, they feel more solid. They feel like they'll last a lot more. But I'm not trying to bash Pandemonium. Um, 
but that's the most recent unboxing that I've done. So, we got more planets. I really like this space. Planets look really nice, look really clear. I'm wondering how these are going to fit with these. I don't know. Who knows? So, we got, I don't know what, don't know what, don't know what. It looks like a nebula. Neato. Fancy. Lots of tokens. Lots of cardboard. If this game is even half as fun as Eclipse, and I know I'm probably going to get a lot of flack for that, but screw you, I like Eclipse. Uh, it's one of my favorite 4X games because it doesn't take 12 and a half hours to play like Twilight Imperium, and it's something I can bring to the table often. But if this is half as fun as Twilight Imperium, uh, then not Twilight Imperium, Eclipse, then I'm game. So with that said, I love both of those. Ooh. I love both of those games, but that looks like it's going to be a pretty sexy um, insert. And the fancy ships fit in the box in their fancy tray. So I'm going to we'll do this. So well, no, we'll pull out the fancy ships. Looks like all of the space stations look identical, just different, uh, just different um, brain. No work so well, just different colors. So, but the ships are all different. So, let's see what they, yeah, these, they're very easy. They stick in here. Sorry about that. So, this is, looks like the purple ship. And they pop out really easily. They put, go back in really easily. They're really smooth, so that's nice. Then, there we go. Then we have the space car. Fancy. And another space minivan. Let's see. Ooh, I like this one. That one looks really neat. I hope the camera is picking these up well. If not, sorry. Then that one actually looks really neat too. And then. Probably my favorite, but I'll never play them because they're bright green. It's just the standard UFO, which is cute. So, there's all the fancy, the stupid sexy spaceships. So, what on to next? Um, we'll leave the spaceships in there. Then, yeah, so we have the discs that are supposed to be the space stations, but said so the version I got came with ships, so. These, that's all these are. That's supposed to be a space station, but that's boring. Um, these are supposed to be the ships, but that's boring. I don't know what these are. So we just, I'm not going to bother pulling these out because you've seen cubes, you've seen tokens. That's what these are. Just colored cubes, colored tokens of, it looks like each race is colored. Yeah, there's gold. Yeah. So these are probably like markers. Um, territory control markers, stuff like that. Um, I don't remember if this is an actual 4X game, like, you know, expand, exploit, ex expand, exploit, exterminate, and expand, explore, exploit, and exterminate. Did I say those right? Yeah. Um, but we'll see. It also can be played solo, which is neat. Uh, plastic baggies, this will go into my bag of bags. I have a bag that also contains 10 million bags. So then we have bag so eh, it'll work and the cat is meowing at the wife making dinner or whatever she's doing F fiddling around in the kitchen with something so why am I opening cards right now let's not open cards we have fish tank ornaments I will never not see these as fish tank ornaments I love them and they're awesome in just they, they usually work really cool for like resources and minerals and stuff, but the first time I ever saw these, they were actually in the fish tank aisle as fish tank ornaments, so. All right, so then we have dice. Oh, ooh, ha 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 ha, caught it. All right, so. Let's look at one of the dice. So those are really nice dice. 
custom engraved, they're fancy, they're still doing their thing, so that's cool. So we got more cards, signal check, don't know what these are, so looks like we're probably down to just cards, looks like we got a spare base, no, that is the living bad guy ship, well, you probably helped my fat fingers weren't all over the ship and in the way, so let's just do it this way. So, that looks pretty cool. Space bugs. And I don't know, uh, there's this, whatever that's supposed to be for. Um, so let's, before we go to the cards, let's pull all these cards out. And let's see if there's anything under the insert, because sometimes I forget to do that, so let's do it while I'm thinking about it. So nothing. And, so it looks like from what I can tell, everything should fit just wonderfully inside this, and that makes my boy parts tingle. So we're going to slide that over here, and let's start looking at these cards. So let's go with the big fat pack here, because I've already kind of opened, is this one I opened? No, it's this one I opened. So I've already kind of opened these ones, so let's open these ones. So, these are all, looks like the backs are all just blank starfields, which is neat. Then, what are these? Let's stand up here. What are these? Looks like this is the average layout. So, I don't know. I guess maybe this is an action, then you get to follow with all this stuff. I don't know. Seeing as that most of this stuff is probably story stuff or... We'll just kind of whiz through them because they're all the same and none of it mean, that doesn't mean anything to me and it probably doesn't mean anything to you so we'll just do it that way so we are going to keep these separate so let's because i don't know what mixes with what and all that jazz and i really don't want to sort through ten thousand cards tonight so yeah you do i mean that's fair so we have solo variant cards so just, I guess, how AIs work, maybe? I don't know. And then we have player resource card, victory conditions, and then, oh god, so, I don't know what these are. Nuclear catastrophe, I almost screwed that up. Catastrophe. So I don't, the backs of these are like this. So you know what, I think, we're going to put these like this, because I don't know if they're in a specific order or not. So we're going to put them face down there. So we have more player resource cards. Okay, so yeah, I think each player gets, yeah, these cards. So, and then more solo variants. No solo variant card. So, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's, I have absolutely no idea how this works, so, I don't know. And I'm sorry if the camera is not wanting to focus, let's, there we go. So I have absolutely no idea how this works, so we're going to keep these just like this, and put these right here, where they were because I don't really know how those are going to work. Uh, so, we have the signals. Oh god, it's not even shrink-wrapped. It's still my worst enemy. It's very loosely wrapped, so I can't even use like the pull it this way until it does, because it, it's not going to do anything. So, we'll do it this way. Plastic and cards my arch nemesis. So. So I guess these are not sure. So we'll put those there. And so I don't the sent back so these are all different with words and stuff. So yeah. 
these are, I guess, different planets or something. I'm just curious on why they're in this weird order. So I'm gonna keep them in this order. Okay. So I guess, yeah, these all do represent the planets, I guess. And then, yeah, that was here. The artwork's pretty cool. Looks a little cartoony and like her forehead kind of looks weird, but overall, like the art's not too bad. I do like the the um, greens. What are they called? Grays. That they're actually green. So I have zero idea what any of this is. I actually might try to play a solo game with this tonight, depending on feeling. Uh, I just got off of work, so a little tired. We'll eat dinner. Um, look over some the rules for some games I have to review and we'll kind of take a look. Uh, however, last time with uh, a game that won't be named, I I wound up getting having a headache and being in a bad mood the entire day after unboxing a game that I had just gotten. So, um, objective cards, interplanetary missions, more objectives, more missions, more exotic technologies. So there's that. And I'm going to zip through these because it looks like all these just kind of look like this. And like I said, that doesn't mean anything to you. The layout of the card is nice. I actually really, really like the layout of these cards. They're simple. They look very sci-fi like. Uh, they look like they will be very thematic. So, you know, the, this is popping up on your computer screen kind of thing. I don't know if that's actually what they do, but that's kind of the feel that I get. It feels very sci-fi. So, laser beams, disable weapons, and my spore, fifth player, and weird, I don't know, transport, negotiates, or maybe these are actions that you can pick up, beta test, degrade and trade route, deep space military, well, that looks like it is everything. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Um, I say this every time, maybe or maybe not. I'll have a review out. really depends on time. Uh, anyways, if you enjoy my channel, check out my Patreon up here. Uh, if you're afraid of commitment, I also have a tip jar down in the comments as well. Any help would definitely be appreciated. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys stick around. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time in the quarantine.